first thing this morning, take, taking some propane tanks to get filled up before it goes out of propane. Never a good thing. But I also need to ask the propane guy when my uh, propane tank from my house is being delivered. So I'm going down there and do that. And then I believe we're going to run corn. I forgot. Morning. So over the weekend, a couple things happened. One, we got like an inch and a half of rain. Uh, that's the most rain we've had at one time, probably since April. So that was fantastic. Now, also, we had a birthday party here at the shop for my cousin Ben and my uncle George. We hung up old Glory over there, and uh, Dad took it upon himself to organize all the bolt bins. Well, not all of them, not even close to all of them, but the ones that we're gonna store down here that we're gonna use often or up here or right here the rest are up there there's still a lot of organizing to do with those up there now we can hopefully get back to farming but this is pretty handy glad we got these situated where we can easily access them so if you missed it a while back we bought out the hardware section of a hardware store that's going out of business bought all their bolts and stuff so i got a really good deal on those and thought it'd be a great addition to the to the new shop and what shops complete at least in America, without the uh, without the flag. All right, Dad's got the combine out, fueling it and greasing it. So hopefully we can get started here pretty soon. About 10 o'clock, frost is burning off. Had a pretty good frost this morning. All right. Do you feel lost? I feel lost. There was no Bengals football yesterday. It was a rough day, but I made it through. Cooking corn. But before we get too far in the middle of things, Jeff's gonna go fill up our Thunder Creek, trying to get enough space in the main tank to hold a transport load of fuel. And I am going to go check the wheat field I got rained out of. Probably gonna help them on the corn harvest for a little bit, and then this afternoon, I might go uh, start finishing that wheat field. So probably about, I don't know, six, seven hours of sunlight, and it might be a little bit better shaped. A little bit wet right now, so, I don't know, it might be a little bit wet later too. I don't know. A little damper than I was expecting. Now, we could probably plant B just fine, but I'd really rather it be a little bit drier. I believe Dad is just starting on this field. This is right across the road from our grain bins. 58 acres here so this should go somewhat quick maybe not but i like to think so afternoon super truck in the day right over to there actually i'm just moving the truck the grain carts over there jeff and brian's gonna run the trucks today so. had some rain over the weekend about the most liquid we've seen fall from the sky all year long All right, we made it to the field. Dad's probably waiting on us. What else is new? Such is the life of the drain cart driver. He's back in there someplace. Yep, just open it up. A lot of shade trees. A lot of red on the yield map. Get away from the trees, it'll be okay. Got caught out in the rain Thursday night. That's uh, Thursday afternoon. That's that's what's on the hood, stuck to the hood, stuck to the fenders. I'll try to rinse this guy off this afternoon or this evening when we get done and get back over to the, the new shop. Not a full bath, mind you, just a quick rinse. Should be getting close to him. Right around this corner, I think. Yeah, there he is. And there's our signal. So for now, since we are right beside the grain bins, 
We have about 115 acres right there of corn. One person can easily keep up with the combine um, right there. Uh, in fact, we don't even need all the trucks. Two trucks can do it with one person trucking. So I'm gonna take this little Massey Ferguson, a little 5S, and the Batwing, and I'm going to go bush hog a farm lane that we haven't touched in a while. Because, well, we're gonna be combining those crops. I have a spider web in my face. Uh, I'm gonna go there, bush hog this lane, and then I think I'm gonna relieve dad and run the combine for a little bit. He's gonna go take care of some odds and stuff. So. Yeah, I was hoping to be planting wheat while this was going on, but just not in the cards at the moment. Might be time to give the little sassy massy a bush hog, or a, a bush hog. Power wash him, there we go. Oh yeah, buddy. This one's been neglected for a while. This is where we load trucks. So I'm mowing around the edge of this field here. It just kind of keeps the brush back. And I'm uh, waiting on Dad to get over. Gonna, gonna relieve Dad for a little bit. He said something about hopping in the Lexion and possibly going and checking some uh, bean fields. So now, I don't know what he thinks he's gonna do with them because we measure everything in the grain bins through the grain carts. So I don't know. So I don't know if you can tell, but the grain bins are right there. Kind of see the top of the leg right there. All right, finally getting back in the combine seat. Looks like it's pretty decent corn here. This is an older DeKalb number we've ran before. 6357, I think it's a little older now. 20% though, a little dry, or a little wet. So this field's 58 acres. Looks like we've done for a, to a total of 43, so 75% done. Check my math. So for some reason, Dad's auto steer is not working. I tried to get it to work earlier this morning, and I had no success. It does not appear that he's got to work. Now, when I say auto steer, I don't mean our ag leader. We use row feelers on our corn head and corn. We're using a Reichart system, which is the factory agco system. Now we've kind of adapted it to work on this uh, Capello corn head. It's been working pretty good, but I don't know what we've done. It worked when we got rained out and now it don't work. So I don't know. I don't know if a wire got unhooked or something on accident or, or what happened. Not the most ideal situation, but we can steer by hand. Now, one thing that the right cart does do, the row feelers, they help you make, make sure you're in the middle of the row, which in turn uh, keeps as much corn in the head as possible. Now, when you get off to the side, you start flipping ears over the side of the head. Not the, not the greatest thing in the world. How green that corn is. Now, this was treated with fungicide. And apparently, it's helping that crop stay healthy as long as possible. We've had several heavy frosts, so I'm kind of surprised there's that much green left in it. So this field is averaging 209, well since we changed varieties to this DeKalb number, which doesn't sound too god awfully special, but you have to keep in mind this 58 acre field has about probably 20 acres of end rows and is surrounded by trees on three sides. So out here in the middle we're running 240, 230. Just those end rows with all the trees and shade really drag it down. But in the middle of the fields we have good field. now. We could have a 300 bushel, or we could have a 250 bushel average, but you know we just have to not plant anything about 100 feet back from the tree line. And, well, we're not going to do that. That's, that would be that'd be silly. So this corn is good enough though, that we are dumping on down and back. That's why we break through the middle. That way the unload auger is always on the side of the combine that can uh, unload. Dad has always maintained his thought that if we could just have a combine with unloaded augers on both sides or one that pivoted all the way around like a chopper, 
that person who invented it would be a multi-billionaire. So we are running four miles an hour at the moment, flowing, uh, I guess we're only flowing 3,500 bushels an hour. A little full. So we are completely full. I just had to stop going downhill to turn around. Not the best situation. But BJ got here, we didn't cap corn it. Not, like I say, not the, not the easiest situation. They're going straight downhill with uh, 350 some bushels in the tank. I heard a little trickle, but not the wave. I figured we were gonna lose a bunch there. So this field, uh, we have five acres left. Judging by what kind of yields we've been seeing, let's say we got uh, probably about, cart still had 8,000 pounds on it and I was completely full, we still have five acres left. We got about a load and a half left here. So typically, I mean, 200 bushel corn, every five acres is a truckload. Now each of our semis can hold a little bit more than, you know, a thousand bushels, but being that I was already full, there's 300, BJ had 10,000 pounds on, about 1,500 bushel left in this field probably. And then I believe we're gonna hop over across the road. We got that field beside our grain bins. There's about 40 acres left of it. I'd really like to get it done tonight. because I believe tomorrow we are switching to beans. This corn's 21%, 22% moisture. So we are putting it through the dryer. And if that's the case, uh, we could let the dryer run and catch that catch up from the wet bin. The wet bin's gonna be pretty full tonight. And that way we would have a uh, empty wet bin when we get back to corn. You know, have a, that'd be about 120 acres for the day. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see that happen. We'll see. Now for us, 120 acres of corn is a pretty big day. I know someone's gonna say, well, Dennis Ivers, yada, yada, yada. Well, I don't have a class nine combine. I'm not Dennis Ivers. For us, 110 to 120 acres of corn is a big day. I think last year we did more than that one time. I think last year we got up to like 28,000 or 30,000 bushels one day. But I think we might have had two combines running. I can't remember now. All right, across the road we go. So this field's not quite completely opened up, so we're gonna finish opening it and then we're gonna get going. Now this field was running pretty good when we left. I think it's averaging 247 or something along those lines. So pretty anxious to get back into that corn. Wish it was this easy to switch fields every time. Happy, happy, happy. Ooh, that looks good on camera. It doesn't look that cool in person magic of camera lenses. You know something I haven't done all, all harvest long really let's run a little later. Dad's dumping trucks, riding some combine and I'm running a cart. All right here's the depots. Not going up and down the road, not the, not having to take the cart and the kind of combine on the road tonight to get anywhere run a few acres off over here and hopefully get the get the holding bin filled so the dryer can run for a while. Brian out there in the distance on the other side of my reflection. Just breaking through the middle of the field there you see the line. The shop lights are directly in front of us. It's about eight o'clock and dinner's sitting in there. We're gonna resist for a little while. Now I'm gonna keep on running this field as long as dad will keep dumping trucks. So he's dumping at the moment. I think BJ's good to run for a while. I'd like to finish this field if possible. I don't know that Dad will hang out that long, um, but we'll see. There's a little bit more of this field left than I thought there was. I thought we had about 40 acres. Turns out we had about 52 acres left. So uh, I don't know if he'll want to stick around that long or not. At the moment, we've got about 40 acres left. Dad just came on the radio and said that we've caught the wet bin. I didn't know that we would catch the wet bin tonight. So I, it must have been on the floor than I thought. I don't think we've done enough bushels to catch the wet bin. It just must not have been emptied out over the weekend. So I don't know how many more loads we're going to get. I think we got a truck and a grain cart to load. It's going to put us right around 75 to 80 acres. I was really hoping to get over 100. Well, that's going to be it for tonight. We're full. Everything's full. Cooking some corn we are. So that thing should make us enough room by morning that we can 
unload those trucks, and then it can catch up while we're doing beans. Well, folks, that's it for this one. I want to eat my dinner. Head home, get some sleep, be back here in the morning. Thanks for watching. If you would, do me a favor, thumbs up the video if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, we got up to 85 acres.